I remember in May, Brady had called me, just like he always does every May, and had told me I had drew a tag. And I kind of was like, you're so full of crap because you tell me this every year. But he was like really excited. He's like, no, really, you drew your elk tag. And I remember being like, oh crap, because not only was I gonna have to get in good physical shape to be able to keep up with Brady, but I also knew that there was gonna be this underlying expectation that I did need to meet. And so kind of leading up to the hunt, I already had some like nervous jitters about making sure I could keep up on hiking and then killing a bull that I felt like was worthy enough to go in the shepherd home. Good. You'll see a solar panel sitting there just going. So yeah, true. It's the only one. What are we doing if, uh, see, what kind of radios? I got my little Motorola. My phone, my phone will work probably over where we're at. Well, then I was like, well, I'm going to too bad. I will park right there. Right to our own campus. For as nervous as I was Sunday night, when we woke up at 5, 4.35 Monday morning, I do remember like having this really calm feeling of like, today's the day, it's time to get to work, it's time to be serious, it's time to just like go execute what you came here to do. like getting ready and getting everything on and out the door that we got in the Jeep. And we kind of looked at each other and we're like, wait, we, we didn't wake up either of our boys. And so <laughs> we're like, maybe they should come. Like, you just don't know when, when things are gonna happen. And so we went back inside and woke up Canyon and was like, hey, you wanna come? And He's like, oh yeah, sure. And Remy didn't want to go at the time. He wanted to sleep in and stay with Grandpa. So. And, and same thing with that though. It's like, do we like hike to death for two or three days, and then when everything's about to happen, they won't want to go. But you know, just, I was just trying to figure out everybody's abilities and their strengths and, and what they had in the tank to to do this. But I'm glad we made that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we went back and got Canyon, and then headed out.
He's a good bull. Great big seven on the one side, little seven on the other. He shot Dad, he saw him drop. <laughs> what do you think of that, Cam? Did you see him the whole time? Yeah, I saw him just. <laughs> Hello. Where are you? I smoked it. Get up here so you can see it. Alrighty, on our way. Guaranteed 350, probably gonna be 60. Hey, that's what we were after. <laughs> He's pretty. He's a good bull. Okay. And we didn't see him before. That's what I say. Every day there's new bulls in now, here. Where, now, where are we gonna put it in the house? Where are we gonna put it in the house? We waited 12 years for this. 12 years? Oh, <laughs> just 12 years. I said, should we go see it? Yeah. Is Grandpa coming? Yeah. They're keep talking. I told them to hurry up. Oh. <laughs> well, are you gonna put that in your bag? Try that in the bag. Good job. Your perch right here, and shot him. Yeah, he was clear out in that sage flat. Yeah. And he come right here through the trees, and he's right here by those yellow sage flats. <laughs> How far was the shot? Three fifty. Right, awesome job. Now I'm like, oh, where's the dog? That I wasn't packing this way. My legs are shaking this a little bit still. Hey, stop it! Well, yeah, but relax. We're about 50 years older than you are. Now I gotta get this. <laughs> Carries it all the way, too. Oh! <laughs> hey, what? Oh, man! <laughs> I didn't see that other little. Yeah, he's just about a full seven. Wow, what a beautiful bull. So you don't, would you count that side or no? Probably not, but it's pretty close. Six four seven? That's a good bull. <laughs> we were pretty well skylined up there. I didn't know if we were. Well, you was on that knob. Right there. Awesome. Look at him, he beat the crap. He's probably been in several fights. Not going to bust. Well, every tip's missing a little. Good job. Nice ball. Wow. Now what do we do? <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> oh, he is beat to death. So what happened this morning? We got up at like five o'clock. <laughs> five. Five. It was dark. I don't know. We traveled 20 minutes from camp. In what? In the old yellow Jeep. <laughs> And Brady stopped and was like, okay, we're just gonna like hike up to eat this little flat area. Just a little ways. Just a little ways. Yep. Brady's little ways is always way, way, way further than he says. He's like, it's gonna be about a mile hike. And about three miles in, he's like, oh, we could have started hiking here. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so mad right now. Headed up over here in this tree area and really wasn't expecting anything. And so he's like, okay, we're just gonna kind of sit here for a minute. And so 
we sat down and pulled up binos and Brady was like, oh, there's a bull right there. And he's like, oh crap, that's a shooter bull. Get ready, get ready. So he's like, lay down, lay down. So it all happened so fast. I don't know, by the time. Seven, probably 7.20 this morning. We were dead bull on the ground, done. Yeah, all I know fast. is I laid down and I couldn't find the bull in the scope for a second. He was 700 yards when we saw him, but we knew we couldn't shoot that far. So we were waiting for him to travel over to us and he got about 350 yards away. Brady's like, when I say kill him, kill him. And it took him just a second to turn broadside and then I couldn't go slow. I just had to pull the trigger really fast so I didn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, we came down here and it's a pretty, it's a one, pretty bull. One shot drop. Yeah, yep. yeah, he has a lot of character. I was just telling Brady I got a little teary eyed just because a lot of his A lot of his horns are broken. And he's got a lot of wounds on his body. And I told Brady, I'm like, man, that's how I feel in life right now. It's just how this bull looks. It just kind of felt like he was the right one for me this morning. And we kind of resemble each other in a lot of ways. It was just special this morning, special to be here with Brady and with my boys and with my father-in-law and enjoy what they do and be able to be here with special people and to kill the bull that we did. So it was just a special morning. Yeah, it was fun. So now we, now we get to eat. It doesn't happen like that very often. First thing right off the bat. Yeah. But it, it worked was, out good. That's so cool. Congrats. It's easy, huh? For you. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's awesome. He is a good ball. Yeah, it oh, happens wow. so fast. We need that bigger blade. That bigger blade. Ready? Oh. oh Okay, if you can't buckle up the bottom. cool thing for me was to be able to kind of step into his element and experience what that's really like with like God's creations and animals and family and friends and just create this memory that will last us a lifetime. It was so cool.